For decades, we've gazed into space and assumed one thing, that the edge of our solar system was nothing but emptiness, a cold, quiet boundary where the sun's influence fades into the background hum of the galaxy. But now, Voyager 1 is revealing that we may have been wrong. More than 45 years into its journey, Voyager 1 has detected something no one can explain. It's not a planet, not a star and not a signal from Earth. It's an anomaly, a disturbance at the edge of all we thought we understood. And it's not random. It's structured. It repeats. It's whispering something we might not be ready to hear. Launched in 1977, Voyager 1 was designed to be a messenger, a scout, a survivor. It flew past Jupiter and Saturn, capturing images that redefined our understanding of the solar system. Then it kept going. In 2012, it officially crossed the heliopause, the invisible frontier where the sun's magnetic reach ends and interstellar space begins. Scientists expected calm, a slow descent into the void. But Voyager 1 encountered something different. Instead of silence, it began picking up strange magnetic ripples, vibrations, patterns in radiation, and now those disturbances are becoming more pronounced and more organized. We once thought the heliopause was a shield, our cosmic border, protecting us from galactic radiation. But Voyager 1 is suggesting something far more unsettling, that this edge might not be a barrier at all. It might be a threshold. The spacecraft is now detecting fluctuations that defy our expectations, repeating energy patterns, time-based telemetry distortions, echoes as if bouncing off something we cannot see. Some scientists are now asking whether Voyager 1 is merely listening, or if it's being listened to, because this isn't random noise. It's a pattern, and patterns don't appear by chance. What if space isn't empty at all? What if the galaxy isn't a chaotic scattering of stars, but a structured web, a vast network of energy flowing unseen through the cosmos like veins in a living body? Some researchers now believe Voyager 1 may have entered an interstellar current, a force that connects solar systems, channels energy, and perhaps even transmits signals. Not natural ones, but deliberate ones. If this is true, then the heliopause may be more than a scientific boundary. It could be a checkpoint, a gate where something out there is observing, filtering, maybe even deciding who gets through. Here's the most chilling part. Voyager 1's latest data reveals a repeating pulse, a signal far too regular to be background noise. And it's not coming from the sun. It's coming from beyond. Could it be a natural phenomenon we've yet to understand? Or is Voyager now intercepting a transmission never meant for us, but one we're hearing anyway? Some physicists now speculate that Voyager 1 may have tuned into a galactic frequency by accident, like an antenna catching a hidden broadcast from the universe. And if that's true, we must confront a long-avoided question. Are we alone in listening? Or are we only now beginning to hear? Voyager's instruments are aging, not designed for decoding interstellar signals, but engineers recently discovered that telemetry data, once dismissed as random static, contains recurring low-frequency pulses embedded deep within the background. These pulses aren't constant. They flare up and fade in precise intervals. When mapped over time, they form a pattern, one that aligns with Earth's position relative to the center of the galaxy. In other words, they're tracking us. Or reacting to us. The real question is, why? Now some astrophysicists are exploring a radical idea that parts of our galaxy may be constructed, engineered regions, immense structures built by an ancient intelligence. This theory is called the Architect Hypothesis. It suggests that space is not entirely natural, that some areas may be artificial, designed to guide, transmit, or control the movement of energy and matter. Voyager 1's recent readings Magnetic disturbances, gravitational anomalies, pulsing signals, match the predictions made by these. Theorists, could Voyager be grazing the edge of an ancient machine still active after billions of years? If so, we may have just knocked on a door that was never meant to be opened. When Voyager 1 launched, it carried a message, the golden record, a collection of Earth's music, languages and sounds, a greeting to whatever life might be out there. But... What if it wasn't just a message? What if it was a beacon? 
Some theorists now suggest that the golden record, through its electromagnetic signature, material composition, and rotation, could act like a tracking device. Not by design, but by consequence. If Voyager has now crossed into a system that recognizes such signatures, the record may have triggered a response, not because we meant to, but because something was waiting for that signal. We still think of Voyager 1 as ours, a machine made by human hands telling our story. But what if it no longer serves that role? What if 23 billion kilometers from Earth, it's now part of something else, another system, another design, one we can't see and didn't build? Recent anomalies suggest that its signals are being altered, modulated, by forces beyond its hardware capabilities, as if the probe is being reprogrammed or repurposed. And if that's the case, then Voyager may no longer be a messenger. Here it may now be a relay, and what it's transmitting may not be meant for us. For nearly 50 years, Voyager 1 has carried humanity's voice into the stars, a drifting machine like a message in a bottle cast into the unknown. But now, at the edge of everything we thought we understood, it's whispering back. Not silence, but a signal. Not chaos, but a pattern. Voyager may not just be a scout, it could have been a trigger, a key, a test, and now something has answered. Whether it's a cosmic force of nature we've yet to understand, or an ancient system designed long before our world was born, Voyager has touched it, not with its instruments, but with a question, and if the place it's entered was built to listen or worse to watch, then our greatest discovery may not be what we've found out there, but that something out there has already found us. What do you think? Has Voyager stumbled into something ancient, or accidentally awakened it? Let us know in the comments. And if this is the last whisper from Voyager, it might just be the first time the universe has started to whisper back.